Sessions in threes, talking through the uh, career of Barr and Clyde. And boys, first we'll talk about premiership wins. And uh, Clyde, you won comps in 89, 90 and 94, but mate, 89, I mean, what a day. Like, the greatest grand final of the lot. It's still, do you still think about that grand final much? Yeah, particularly it's 30 years since we won it. That's right, yeah, yeah. It's a long time ago, but um, the, the, the day itself was um, extraordinary, um, you know, just with the, the preparation and, and uh, it was all new to the Raiders. We'd been there in 87 and, and lost, but um, the year before we, we, we didn't um, make it to the grand final. So it, it was um, a big occasion for us. And, and uh, you know, we, looking back, uh, there was a lot of you know, quality players out there that are just sort of making a name for themselves. Yeah. You know, but um, when we're taking the field, we're certainly a bunch of nobodies playing with Mal Meninga. Yeah, unbelievable. Mm. Great win. Um, of course, you got the Clive Churchill medal on the day. Clyde, 94, you blokes play against each other. Again, Canberra Raiders have a big win. But Barr, mate, you might remember a lot of the game. Mal got you early. He Hit you did, with a high, high shot early in the game. Yeah. Um, he apologised to me, but did I, I didn't remember it. But uh, <laughs> listen, it's part of footy. Was that, was that of all the Raiders sides you play? I remember playing against you blokes this team. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, it's the greatest side I ever played against. You could beat you. You beat you by 80 points if you run your game. Is it the best Raiders side you played in, 94? Yeah, it would, uh, they, they were all great during that period, but uh, the 94 side, there was no weakness in our side at all. There was yeah. no chinks in our armour. We were, uh, were prime. 94 and 95, we yeah. were, um, it right. was a super team. Yeah. And uh, we come up against the, the Bulldogs in the major semi-final in 95. I, I expected to win that year. Yeah. Uh, I, I never had that feeling ever. What about that, Bar? 1995. Unbelievable season for you, boys. Halfway through the year, a bit of a civil war at your club with the Super League War. Some of the boys left. I remember we played just through the year. Uh, but this one, retiring. I was supposed to retire, but Super League come along and got yeah. a few more bucks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a sombrero. Yeah. It's a sombrero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was very heavy. That's why we're short neck. But, um, yeah, mate, 94 was fantastic. And yeah. the camaraderie ship between the blokes you left, we're still mates. So yeah, right. nothing come between us. Yeah. Hey, Clyde, we look at your 89 season. You debuted 88, but 89, first full season, young. young We've got a great try here. Uh, you're playing the Broncos. What was it like that year? It was such a great side. You win the Clive Churchill that year. Look at the ground, stay on the ground. Back yeah, there's Seaford Oval back in the day. Uh, and look, just to, to be in the sheds, I, I, starting in the, the team with uh, Meninga, um, you know, the, Kevin Wilders was uh, making his way through, Steve Wilders, uh, some great players. Yeah. Gary Belcher was really influential yeah. in, in the club at the time, and, and same with Dean Lance, Gary Coyne, the list goes on. And yeah. I was learning my football from these the quality senior players that 200 games and uh, they taught us how to win. In 91, you uh, you go for three in a row, which hasn't been looking for a chief for a while. That, that's such a great side. You get beaten, but you win your second Clive Churchill medal in a, in a beaten side. What, what was that like? Because it's such a great honour to be best on field in the grand final. How was it? Yeah, bittersweet, but at the same time, I didn't think there was anything wrong with... Uh, coming second in the toughest competition in the world. That's how I felt on the day. And, and then to, to pick up the, the Clive Churchill medal was really special. Um, look, I, I've since spoken to Roy Simmons and because uh, he played pretty well that day as well and said, oh, you know, I'll pop it in the post for you to have a bit of a look. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was, I was truly honoured and, and pretty blessed to play in a, a squad like that. Yeah, and then obviously 94, you spoke about that great season. 94 is the last of the original Kangaroo Tours. Um, and you had a sensational tour there, and, and what a great side that 94 Kangaroos team was. It, it was. It, you look at some of the, the players that took part in that this team. against Wigan here. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a, 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 a pretty special team. And um, look, the 13 weeks with a bunch of blokes doing anything is yeah. pretty cool. We're, we're playing footy. I, I was... I, I had uh, lunch the other day with Steve Menzies, and he was my roommate during that tour. And I never saw Steve for the whole tour. <laughs> you know, he was boring then, as he is now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, the thing is, I never saw him because uh, he was in the emus, the midweek team, and uh, I was I was playing uh, at, uh, at the end of the week. You're and the, uh, we crossed paths team. about three or <laughs> four yeah, times yeah. on the whole tour. Yeah. Yeah, the emus uh, have a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah it was pretty but cool. Yourself, Bar, three great moments for you. Firstly, mate. Um, he was 83 with West. You get the um, you get the Dalian medal, even though West come last. Your yep. days, you're starting at West. Do you, 
You have a great time at the Magpies? I had an incredible time. Big John Donnelly. I went there to play with Tom Radonikas, but he went to Newtown and Graham O'Grady went to Newtown the year before, or that year, 1980. But the way I started, I was playing under 23s, five games. Um, one of the players at West broke his arm, so I went up to reserve grade, played against St George. Mm. And the next week, another bloke broke his leg, so I jumped up again to play first grade. So I got a bit of luck there. They tell me a story. Roy Master, I've heard him tell a story where he brought a dietitian in in your first year and he said to all the players, tell us what you get up to the day before the game. And you said, I go to the pub, me and the missus, and I have about 20 vodka and, uh, vodka and oranges. And uh, the dietitian was horrified and Roy said, it's working for you, just keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> how, what, for how long did you keep that routine up, Bar? Oh, I was smoking at the time as well. <laughs> <laughs> You do silly things when you're younger, you know what I mean? But yeah. um, I, I, after 12 months, I stopped smoking and yeah. um, I kept doing, trying to do the same thing I did every single, every Friday night or, mm. or Saturday night. So yeah. um, Whatever it may be, just if you're playing good, keep doing it. Yeah, no, listen, I got a bit smarter when I got older too. You yeah, know, right. I look after myself a little bit. When, when, when you, people talk about Terry Lamb, they recognise you as the game's probably greatest ever support player. What, what, was, what was the method? How did you do it, Bar? What was your well, you've got to know your players, I think, more, more than anything. Um, everybody can play football, but um, you've got to know how they play. Paul Dunn was a great ball player, you know. Um, Jimmy Dimmick was a great player. Oh, yep. you just got you just got to follow them along. Canterbury didn't buy uh, anybody. We bought good players. Yeah. So that, that, that made it important. Jason Hetherington was one of the yeah. toughest players I've ever played with. I was with him last night at the footy. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Great person. Great, great character. Per yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Hey, Bar, um, you had one of the most famous or infamous mm. field goals. Uh, you were down 12-10 and you decided to kick a goal to make a 12-11 <laughs> yeah. back in 1992. Was boys, what, was, what, went up, what was going through your mind? Well, mm. mate, I, I was talking to the players how we can have a good set of six, get the ball back in certain position, 42 metres out, and kick a field goal, but I didn't even look at the scoreboard. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It was yeah. a great field goal. I, I, it I was a good field goal. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. <laughs> but um, it's, a, it's a stat. Yeah. Um, and I joked after the game, I went footy tab and got in trouble for that. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and drug, no drug testing me. first come in, and I got drug tested as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Well... Well, you, weren't the only, you weren't the only one because a lot of other players decided to do it after you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, G, I remember this. This is GI 2016. He was down 8-6, decided to, to, pot, to pot one, yeah. oh, but he missed his. It's not like yours. important to get it. Yeah, it is important to get it. And, of course, it's changed codes here. This is um, Big Matt Dunning in the front row. They needed the bonus point New South Wales to go into the semi-finals. But that was a beauty, too. He got that one. He didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> and, of course, uh, this one. Now, this would have made this bloke a hero. It's 16 all in the grand oh, final. Yeah. He goes to the goal, misses it. Uh, it's just lucky you've got a very talented brother who could do this. <laughs> Yeah, and it could have been the Matthew John stand. I was going to say. How life could have Did changed. Did you kick one? <laughs> hey? Did you kick any? Oh, not that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Did. No, I didn't. No. I didn't, Bar. That's all right. Uh, anyway, I, good I, memories. I, yeah. <laughs> I can lend you a couple if you want. Yeah, mate, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, How many did you kick, Bar? How many did you kick in your Oh, group? I'm not sure. Um, 36, something like that. <laughs> I, I don't know. But, but, you, but in the early 80s... Yeah. Well, it's all about field goals. So you get to a six-point lead, yeah. then you kick a goal, so mm. you've got a seven points. So you've got something up your, up your, um, up your back, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Fish, you ever kick the field goal? <laughs> One of the best. You <laughs> have <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I had in. the same diet as uh, Barr had that. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the fan forum, Emma Freeman.